Good morning. It's January 6, 2017, and we're off to a fast start this year. A lot of things going on. I uh, just got off the phone with one of my consultants, uh, or one of my protégés, rather, uh, that's in my wholesale group, and it is my goal to take you through as much as I possibly can, and especially when issues arise. So this issue did arise this morning, and I want to uh, go through it a little bit. Uh, what has what happened in this particular deal, or what I want to talk about, as you are looking at this uh, uh, 2006 Suzuki, and I bought this car at the Mannheim Auto Auction, and we talk about how much money we make, uh, and we we often do. It's a very good business, but there are times when things happen and when a car is going to break down I don't care how experienced you are uh, we as car uh, dealers are going to have to accept the fact that we can't watch we can't catch everything every now and then we're going to get caught with not necessarily a lemon but bad luck and so we're going to talk about this 2006 Suzuki and what happened to me on it and what can happen to you and what I do to resolve this. Number one, I bought this 2006 Suzuki at uh, Mannheim Auto Auction and I paid uh, $1,600 for it. Okay, it only had 93,000 miles on it. I pre inspected the car, I drove the car. The uh, car really looked good, had a little hail damage on it, but because of the low miles, the good tires and stuff. I just knew that the car was a money maker, and so I bought the car. Drove it fine. Uh, on the way back to where I live, which is about an 85 mile trip from that uh, auto auction, the car uh, spun a, a timing chain. Looks like it might have dropped a valve. So what do you do? You're looking at a major repair, possibly even a changing out an engine or, or whatever on the car. So what do you do in that circumstance? The car was probably a $3,000 car, had nothing go wrong with it. But now, what has it depreciated to? And so what do we do with this car? Well, automatically, we got to expect, because our bubble has been busted. We've gone from a potential $1,000 plus profit to now a major major repair bill so uh, I take these cars same as usual I don't really discount uh, the fact that there's a lot of mechanics uh, that are on Craigslist and people looking for cars they can fix up and repair that's what we're in is a car that we're looking at may need a few minor repairs and uh, we're looking for that car uh, this one wound up needing major repairs, so I'm putting it out there at a reduced price. I've got $1,600 in it. I'm willing to settle for $1,000 for the car. Now, I'm going to lose $600, but am I going to lose $1,600? And no, I am not going to lose $1,600. Some mechanic will come along. I've done my homework, and I know that an engine can be purchased for this car in the four to five hundred dollar range and a mechanic a good mechanic can change those engines out in one day and so the car goes right back once it's uh, been reconditioned maybe the engine trains out or whatever it goes right back to being a three thousand dollar car but this is above my skill level and I, you know, I just don't want to change out motors, so I'm going to sacrifice, and I'm going to lose money on this car. But I'm not losing my total investment price. I know the car is worth something to a do-it-yourself mechanic, the backyard guy on weekends that likes to change out motors and make a little money on the side, and he's not doing it in the volume that we do it in as as auto dealers, wholesalers. So what I'm really trying to put through here is, is don't get stressed out like you're going to lose a major amount of money. Am I going to take a loss? Yes. Some of them are not losses, but you've got to keep a positive frame of mind 
when you are dealing with these cars. Uh, you know, represent it honestly. Go out. This is a mechanic special that uh, you're going to put out there to these guys. And there are guys all over Craigslist looking for these mechanic specials. So don't get alarmed. Uh, one out of 20 cars that you may buy may be a loser. It may be five out of 20 cars. But as a rule, the majority of your purchases are going to make you money. But don't get disillusioned. Uh, of course, and I use that word strongly or too loosely. Get di Obviously, it's going to disillusion anyone. But, you know, I have people, well, I'm done. You know, I I'm, I'm out of business here. Well, you can't really use that attitude. You have to use an attitude that says, okay, I've got me a situation here that I've got to work through. Uh, that's why you don't buy really expensive cars. I stress this all the time to you guys that want to get in this business. You go out here and you buy you a $5,000 car. The same thing can happen. A $10,000 car, a car out of warranty, the absolute same thing can happen. When you buy a $10,000 car and it becomes a, uh, a, a car with a bad engine and stuff, that is painful. But a $1,600 car and the engine goes bad and it can be replaced, it can still be a, a car that you don't make what you thought you would on it, but you got to keep an attitude. You, now you go to a different market. You're going to a market of mechanics that are looking to buy these, per these vehicles that need some repair. They don't have access to these dealer options. So uh, you got to understand that a lot of times, um, you know, they're willing to pay. Uh, I've got cars. This one's a $1,600 car. I'm going to lose on it. But I've also got cars that I bought at the auction that had minor problems, but I still make a little bit of money off of them. I don't go ahead and, and just discount my losses. Uh, so the smart thing is, is be patient. You're still selling. It's very good to be able to sell a car that you have confidence in, but you got to sell the opportunity to the mechanic. That's all you're doing. Can you make money off this car? A 2006 Suzuki uh, with 93,000 miles on it, uh, can it make money? Yes. The engine can probably be repaired a lot cheaper by a mechanic that knows what he's doing and knows how to save money on repair. So you got to make it appealing to what that car potential is if it's back up and running and sell the mechanic on that. So don't go out there and assume that every car you buy is going to make you a small fortune. Unfortunately, that's not the way business works. Take your risk. Reduce your risk as much as you possibly can. But the main thing is don't stop. Keep moving forward. Have a great day. I look forward to hearing from you very, very soon.